Yeah, that, that water looks pretty clear. Hey guys, so uh, I've got an hour to kill I'm using uh, my buddy Prentice's JBL Explorer. He was having some issues with it before. I decided uh, I'd, I'd rig it up and take out some excess line and you know just see how it shoots now. Idea for today is to, to target Majora, uh, the next catching cook. And a lot of people think of it as just bait fish. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try a different recipe with this one and see how that turns out. Alright, so I'm about to go in. Water's still relatively cold. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to Majora. I don't want to spend too much time in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot Majora. Unless I see a big sheep. Or anything big. But yeah, Majora. Five minutes into this shore run, and I was surprised by the lack of fish in the area. But it was during this moment of solitude that I realized I had no idea how to use this gun. So when the school of sheep happened to pass by, I decided to finally test it out. Not a bad sized sheep to grab, but still not the mohara I was looking for. So I finally got to a spot that had plenty of life. There was a lot of speckled trout, huge schools of sheep's head, and thick, thick groups of snooks hanging around. But still, couldn't see any mohara I was looking for. I really tried ignoring this guy, but I was already half an hour into my shore dive and I needed to take something home. He was a really good sized sheep, but not the target species I was going after. Once again showing what little knowledge I had in this gun, I thought I had lost the tip. I wasn't very familiar with threaded shafts, and didn't realize that this was a standard practice with JBLs. Also, the fact that it's not floating, kind of a deal breaker. It was getting close to 40 minutes, and I was about ready to give up. I dove down one last time and watched as a school of small red drum passed by. At this point I was already trying to come up with a different recipe for the sheep's head I had already caught. Fortunately as the school circled back, I finally saw what I was looking for. Cue that overexcited music. And I finally figured out why the tip was threaded. So I don't think I've ever been as uh, stoked as I have been to shoot a small fish like that. We're at 40 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna head back in. I'm starting to get a little cold. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to finally get the fish I was trying to target. And of course on the way in, I couldn't say no to a nice fat mullet. Hi guys. What you looking for? Snook and reds all around the corner right there. Uh, pretty big sheets over there too. Yeah. Right around the corner. Yep. What's that? Yeah, I'm just going right back there. Had an hour to kill, so. Good luck, guys. Hey guys, so I'm back home from work. I brought the Majora, Mohara, however you pronounce it. I brought the fish back home and I'm going to cook it in a style, um, I think originally called Minpachi Shoyu. Minpachi being the big-eyed squirrel fish back on the island, but instead I'm going to substitute it with the sand perch, aka Majora, Mohara, whatever you call them. So the technique to cook these guys is quite simple. After properly scaling and cleaning them, you're just going to cook them whole in a soy sauce mixture. The ingredients for the recipe is really quite simple. You're just going to use half a cup of soy sauce, a cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar, 
I like to add a touch of ginger for flavor, and then you're gonna garnish it with some chopped scallions. You're also gonna prepare for the side because the fish is gonna be served on top of it. The recipe usually calls for soba noodles. I only found soba, but it's really up to you. Normally when I cook fish like this, I leave the heads on. But Veronica is not really a big fan of fish staring back at you, so. One cup of water, half cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, and a splash of ginger. So we got the ingredients in, we get it to boil first, and then we're gonna add the menpachi. Nope, the major. We're gonna add the fish, and then for the next 12 minutes, we're just gonna spoon the mixture over it, uh, allowing it to cook. Twelve minutes is up. Let's see what it looks like. We got Veronica, our brave taste tester. She has never tried this fish before, so this will be an honest reaction. Let's see how she likes it, if she does. It's very good. Is it? Mm. Honestly? Honestly. Okay, because a lot of people think this is just bait fish. Okay, the noodles I'm kind of afraid of. They're made with bugs. <laughs> They're not bad, the noodles are not my favorite, but I like the fish. The fish is good? Mm -hmm. All right, so is that a, yep, we got a thumbs up approve. All right. Very nice. So there you have it, Mohara, yes, Mohara is actually a very tasty fish. It's not just uh, something to be considered either trash or just as a bait fish. Prepared correctly, it's actually very good. And, and they're not a bad size fish either. So don't, don't turn your nose up at them. They're a uh, pretty decent table fare. Also, I wanted to do something else. I wanted to kind of go over the, uh, uh, the, the gun that I used for today. Uh, it's a JBL Explorer 24. I have absolutely no knowledge about this gun whatsoever. It's a pipe gun. Uh, not a big fan of the double floppers. Uh, but as you saw in the video, the reason why this whole thing comes up. So while using it, uh, it felt like I was having a lot of difficulty maneuvering this gun considering how small it was. And I think as you kind of see here, it's leaking. Is that a normal thing for these guns? If you're, if you're experienced using them, let me know. Uh, because honestly, once this thing started filling with water, for whatever reason, it just, it was very painful trying to uh, track anything underneath. Anyways, uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, listening to this video, this catch and cook. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you want me to target, you want me to try a recipe, let me know. If you like this, go ahead and hit the like, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. All right, bye.